what the craze is all about. Just let me see something. What if I just type in hetero? Hedero. Two part question, Sean. Are you gonna play the game Detroit? And also next year when GTA 6 comes out, are you gonna play it on stream? Of course. Oh, and also for everybody asking me to do like RP, I'm just not that, you know. I just I can't get into it. I've seen some RP videos. I just I, it's not my thing. It's not gonna be my cup of tea. It is what it is. But when GTA come out, we will be playing it. Dot will um, this be illegal? I've already had I've already played Detroit. Detroit's already on the Clips channel. You just got to look up Sean Cena Detroit. I've already played through it. Um, Sean does RP in another way. Nigga, chill. Relax. And after getting hit, okay, let's see. Hetero? What the fuck is this nigga's hair? Is he wearing a hat or is that hair? Nah, cuz is moving different. What the fuck is going on? Nah, this is a different world. I've never been here before, chat. What the fuck is going on? I'm scared. Nah, what is his head? Look at his head. I'm sorry, I know this is dick suck, but damn. Hold on. The first hookup so app no for Resident oral Evil. pleasure. What? No, we playing Resident Evil tonight. We're still playing it tonight. Don't worry. What the f Is that real? Bro, what is our world coming to? That's real. So people actually get on this app to give head. Only yeah, that's uh, <laughs> CD Central. I want to see this, bro. I keep seeing these uh, hetero ads everywhere. And um, you know what? I'm going to hit them up on Instagram. And okay, it was a lie. His hair looks normal. I want to interview whoever's doing all this marketing because I just can't I still can't fathom the fact that this is a hookup app for oral pleasure It's literally an app to give head. So I don't know if you guys have seen the, the these posters around South by Southwest called hetero Look at this poster. It's a hookup app where people uh, give oral pleasure uh, I love so oral I, I just pleasure. isn't that prostitution? It sounds like it's free So hetero. I don't think it's prostitution because it what? Oh, you don't have to pay anybody? Yeah, 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 no. What the fuck? You have to pay for the app? No. Ugh, why do you lick his lips <laughs> like that? You're fucking contemplating downloading <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm downloading shit on that. Fucking Tinder, fuck that. Let's just go for what the point, what we want. Yo, his teeth are crazy. It, the more this guy was right. I mean, let's be honest. The only reason why the majority of us download dating apps in the first place is it's to, to get fuck. That's what I just said. I just got through telling y'all. If you go, if you got a dating app on your phone, you are a horny nigga. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's your body. I'm just saying it's not me. I'm regular. I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? Playing with, I'm going to be playing mind games with niggas and, you know, stuff I'm saying on like on Twitter and on, on Instagram. I'm not doing nothing else. I'm not going that extra mile. That's just not my type of timing. Some head. Yet we have to swipe and cut through so much bullshit just to find what we want. And sometimes we never end up finding it. We even waste hours of our day to take these people out on dates just to discover that what they want is the complete opposite. It's exhausting. But with hetero, we can find exactly what we want at the click of a button. Is this nigga giving, is this a sponsored video? And then I got an interview with the motherfucking founder. But first, I felt like I had to download the app just so I can get familiar with it. This first. is a sponsored right. video, wow. I just uh, downloaded Hetero right there. I gotta know what this app is about, you know what I'm saying? Before I interview the CEO. I'm kind of nervous. I've never talked to a CEO in my life. So, appreciate the seven months, Surfing Bird. My research, and that's all. Just research. Choose your display name. That'll be. I should have signed up on stream and, and like just saw what the fuck the craze was Who about. Who are you down with? Cis women, I guess. Well, you know what? Just to be fair, we'll do all genders. All right. How Every is that fair? Single one of these fifty genders. Jesus Christ. What is a two spirit? What the fuck what is the that? Fuck is a two spirit? Hetero is for everyone. Stigma or shaming has no place here. STDs though, do they have a place here? You can rate your interaction with them based on our guidelines. Bro, what, so like what, what is this? What is this theory? I'm so confused. Why do niggas be acting like that? Like I get it, but you like still can f it. Def go for it. Amazing content. 
See how far you can go on the app. Okay, you get you get you get me a little crazy. Like, why do niggas act like you can't have an STD and like after meeting someone in public? Like, you think all the people just congregate that have STDs on one app? Like, you know you can get you can still get it if you just like met a fucking random girl at Starbucks or something. You know that, right? Uh, let's say someone's head game just is not there. You could just one star them. Okay, I'm in hetero, as you can see. I'm gonna blur the screen because I don't want to expose these people, but there's real people on here. What are you saying? Crazy. What are you seeing? Here is a girl right here. I'm gonna just send her a message just for research purposes. Okay, disclaimer, research. Hey, what's up? Okay, actually I'm gonna send a bunch of messages to a bunch of girls and I'm gonna see when I get back, you know? Research, okay, research purposes. I decided to- Oh wait, I got a court people on here? You can't just like send the payment and then just get the head? Take a step away from the camera for a while because as you know, really high effort research requires a lot of focus and I just really couldn't do it with the camera on so that's why right, I had it off. All right, I get it. Um, I just finished all my research and I think that I am ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna interview the CEO of Hetero tomorrow at 3 p.m., which is a pretty big deal. If you really think about it, like he's a CEO. Mark Wait, are you telling me you didn't get nobody to pull up to your crib to your crib right now? Like you start messaging girls and then the whole shit just Zuckerberg's a fucking CEO. So technically I'm interviewing Mark Zuckerberg tomorrow. Why are you so Mom, close? I made it. It was the big day. The day where I interview the founder of Hetero. I was so nervous, but excited at the same time. I headed downtown, and then I saw an event called Will We Still Be Having Sex in the Future? And I had to attend this. I thought that this would have great information that could relate to my interview with the founder of Hetero. You didn't have Everybody to go. Everybody was super weird in the room, but hey, how could they not be? The reason that we are here is she's going to talk to us about will we have sex in the future. I think people might prefer a reservation to actual sex with other people. A show of hands if you know what the asexual is as a preference. As a person that prefers to use technology for their sexual. Where are we getting this data? Sexuality uh, and then connection with another people. Bro. So she's basically saying that there's people out there that want to have sex with robots more than humans. That's how you know our world is ending. I mean, that's not the world ending. That's... I mean, look at this graph. They predicted that by 2050, we're going to stop having sex. Okay, what does it say? 2025, people avoid having sex because of its uncertainty. 2030, digi-sex becomes pop more popular. Uh, like they, it's typo or maybe they missed something. Pop more popular than real sex. 2040, sex with non-humans becomes your ideal. 2050, free form reproductive purpose completely. I don't think it's going to happen at this rate. It's completely. I thought sex was one of the greatest parts of life. And these people are saying that we're going to stop? What the fu I mean, I was getting my mind blown left and right in this conference, as well as everybody else. I mean, I took a look around and I could tell that all the other people were getting their minds fucked. And this conference was really popular. Like, there were a lot of people in here. So many The room's not even full. People that these guys sat right in front of me, damn well knowing that I was filming. I mean, how do you not see me right? Look at the amount of empty chairs. Like, what is he talking about? They're filming with my big ass camera. And there's empty seats right next to y'all. Why did y'all have to choose the seats that were right in front of me? I mean, you bro. You just said that the room was full. What do you mean? Get out of here with your no sexual service shirt. That shirt's fucking dumb. What? Do you, you think you're going to have girls coming up to you asking for your services or some shit? Bro, get out of here, man. We've been doing research on blowjobs a lot of crazy. Um, and part of that is understanding oh why people get blowjobs and why people want to receive blowjobs. One of the takeaways that I've seen so far is that it's a bit of a myth that people have sex for connection. There's an aspect of sex as transaction. Okay. Okay, so that was probably one of the scariest panels I've been to. It's kind of weird that people are starting to, you know, they said 2050, Free from reproductive purposes completely. So just by 2050, we're gonna be not having sex at all. And at the end of the panel, uh, the girl said that it's a myth that people have sex for connection. There's an aspect that people have sex more as a transaction. So intimacy is a myth. If somebody gives someone else head, they expect them to give them head back. And um, 
That's I think you're taking her comment a little too literally. What hetero is. One for me, one for you. So um, hetero is probably ahead of the curb, and hetero is probably um, the future. Oh, what? Um, hetero is the next Apple. <laughs> that conference really... How did I correlate to the app? Bro, if this is a sponsored video, I wouldn't pay you much. You didn't lead into that seamlessly at all. Like, what do you, what do you mean? you thinking... Especially the part where she or he or they such them said that we have sex as a transaction. That made me look around and realize maybe everything we do as humans is for a transactional reason. Why do you have to be so black and white about it? Like. And maybe intimacy and real love never existed. What are I mean, you saying? This girl saying? is probably with this old guy for his money. And he's probably with her for, you know, sexual intercourse. What are These you talking are about? Friends to get the privileges that come with both races. We pay employees money in exchange to have them do the heavy lifting for us. We're only nice to our waiters because they could spit in our food. And our waiters are only nice to us because, you know, we could tip them. We only take pictures of our friends because we're going to need some pictures too. Okay. And we post them to Instagram because we want to feel liked or whatever. And even I'm recording Bro, strangers can we get to, to make the, a profit off YouTube. Can we get to even the... Even though there's some people that keep getting in the fucking way. We only let friends borrow money because we know there's eventually going to be a time when we're broke. Can we get to the... We're going to need them to cover for us. The only reason why we have families... Bro, you chatting right now. Oh money. my God. Even if this is a master troll, I hate your, I hate your voice. The CEO we gotta go. of Hetero, in my presence, it was now finally time to get inside his head. Yeah, so my first question, I guess, is um, STDs. Yeah. Oh, my. How does that work? Like, yeah. you know, because this app is work? focused on giving head to each other. Yeah. How do you, like, you know, yeah, I guess. So within the app, you can immediately disclose, right, your, your STD status. We want to talk about these things openly. You should be getting tested regularly, right? It's not the end of the world if you get an STD, but not knowing that and spreading it to your partners is a lot worse right so which is a lot more common and regular it's like it's i don't know it's not um, no of course i mean you have it for the rest of your life yeah uh, under our current medical kind of like conditions yeah and the other thing is you know oral sex bro the get to, to the dome i'm trying to see who's giving the head bro but of course go to your doctor get checked out right that's the that's the that's the real path and and this app it seems to be like what tinder what bumble is but it's like honest yeah you know yeah do you think that's where we're slowly trying to get to is like kind of cutting through the bullshit and like you know if somebody wants to hook up so there has to be a the place CEO where you know, they go i very yes. much think that that's where we're going and i think that's where we need to go you know as long as there's consent it's nothing but good right if there's safety and consent sex is joyful sex you know, expands our spirit. It's a soul enriching thing, right? Yeah, so, yeah, it definitely is for you know? sure. Where did you find the inspiration to make hetero? Was there any like specific struggle that you saw in society or like a specific night where you were like, I'm gonna make hetero? Yeah, there was There was legitimately a specific night where oh, this shit. idea popped okay. into my head. Yeah, I'd smoked some weed and I was chilling with my friend and- You got you know, horny as fuck. We were talking about this and the idea popped in my head and okay. it was all at the same time. A hookup app for oral pleasure and the name hetero literally was just one idea, uh -huh. so. Um, some of these other dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, et cetera, they, you know, if somebody's too straightforward on those apps, sometimes they could be reported as being aggressive or, you know, but on hetero, like, is it possible to be too forward? Because the app is already, like, named hetero. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get head on this app, but, <laughs> right. like, can, is there any way that somebody can get reported for, like, being too sexual? Uh, yeah, so it's, that's a really great question. If you message someone in the app... That's the first great that question he's asked the whole time. ...the interaction. There's a human being on the other end of that message, so probably better to start with, hey, how are you doing? You don't want to just jump right in. It's like, you gotta, you gotta see, like, are they into it? Flirt on the app, right? Like, that's the, that's the way to do it. I ain't gonna lie, bro, that kind of defeats the purpose of why I would have downloaded this app, though, because... I thought the whole point, like, this, I wanted it to be transactional, you know? I wanted it to be like a, give me your PayPal, and then, you know, here's the address, here's the, you know what I'm saying, meeting point, whatever the fuck, and then do it, and you go home, you know? I thought you post a job like you would, like a shoveling app. 
I'm not saying that I'm not saying that that was the the world that I wanted, but I'm just saying the way that this was described to me in the beginning was almost like. Oh, this is the realistic version of Tinder. And in reality, it's literally just Tinder, but for niggas who admit to being horny. Like, I, I want to let you know that I want head, but I'm still going to have to, like, you know what I'm saying, talk to you a little bit first. Like, I don't, you know, it's kind of like, eh. Not really the world that I was envisioning. But then, yeah, once, once you're both into it, like, woof, you know? What fascinates you so much about oral sex you know why not just like just sex yeah i mean it's always... not a dating app though it's for sex i think it's just to see if you rock with their vibe that's kind of like what tinder is already though like that's what they're doing on tinder is just seeing if they rock with each other's vibe they're just not admitting to wanting to fuck yet at least from what i've seen this has to be like a defining thing that pulls people now it's not really yeah. and well for us it was desire it, was head. it needed to be a little bit more i felt like it needed to be a little bit more concrete you know for a lot of people myself included like oral sex is a is a big myself part included i think everybody included right yeah. yeah i guess that is a dumb question because everybody loves head everybody <laughs> if you walked up to anybody and offered them head 100 percent of the time it would be yes let's say you were walking what? into a pitch meeting yeah and Let's say that pitch meeting was full of liberals, soccer moms, grandmas, woke college students, just everybody who might find this app offensive. How would you present this this head giving app to them? Honestly, I present it exactly the way that I present. This nigga just said he was scared of STDs, and then also said, "Oh shit!" Everybody would say yes if somebody came up to them offering them head. Did here? But he thinks the STDs are specific to the app. Really? You no, know, like I think the first step is to believe in your mission, believe in your purpose. And honestly, I do. We're obviously being very cheeky, but what we're doing is really serious. So okay. I don't believe in changing and shifting. Like if you're not down with it, like, okay, go be you, you know, kind of thing. We're gonna be us, you know? Yeah, and with this audience that you do have, what would you call that audience? Like if you were to give them a name, head lovers or like. Yeah. I don't know. Oral pleasure enthusiasts is a one way to put it. It needs to be a more hip name. Right. Or, oral pleasure enthusiasts. Right, yeah. No, no, no. I think like... Yeah. Like... Yeah. Toppers. Okay. Oh, you know, Jesus they get Christ. Yeah. Or yeah, all right. Top. You just turned off the CEO neck. of Hetero. How else do people describe blowjobs? You just made Blowies, the CEO of an app called like, Hetero yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. Fellatioers? Yeah. No, nah, that's that's too, that sounds well, political. Said, you know, can... The last question. You I... made the guy who owns the app Hetero uncomfortable. I just went to a panel wow. in South by Southwest that was uh, called, uh, what we still be having? He's scaring the head. Food. And one of them was working at like a sex company or something. She researches blowjobs. Oh, wow. And she said that in her research, she found that people don't seek out blowjobs for connection and intimacy. People do that more as a transaction. Mm. And even hetero being more on the transactional side, like, do you think that that's more of where our society is going more towards transactional sex rather than like taking them out to date, buying them dinner? And I think that it, it could if we, if if that's the direction we collectively decide Bro, to go. You just described another transaction. What are you talking about? Did you did you write down this shit on your notepad and then just like read it to yourself and be like, yeah, I might be contradicting myself here. They're having trouble finding there's... a name for people who give top. Ice Spice was ahead of her time. She was. She was. No greater intimacy, including oral. I think that oral is actually one of the most intimate acts. You walk away from that with a connection. Like, I'm sorry, but you do. I met one of my Don't best sure friends. Check the ratings exactly on the app store. Transactional Google kind Play. of this is event a scam. This for oral, have MFS and that person developed into one of my closest this. friends. And so, I think these things are what you make of them. I think that it's a connection. Well, look, and that connection can be really, really beautiful. And I, I hope that it's not just some transactional thing. Sex is is the fundamental life force that we all share. Wow. Well, thank you, man. Thank you uh, for the interview. Yo, guys. I just interviewed the CEO of Hetero. Yo, you will not guess what. I just interviewed the CEO of Hetero, Stephen Quadier. The CEO of what? I don't Hetero. understand, bro, Zangel. Hetero's a hookup like app where people give each other head. everything needs to be overanalyzed and such. It's just <clears> sex. <throat> not that deep yeah i mean this is the type of like deep analyzation that i would have expected for like an app like twitter for a nigga who was trying to troll elon musk or some shit like that 
I was just trying to see if the nigga was going to use the app and then rate his experience with it. Like, did I get hit? Did I not get hit? Not meet up with the CEO to ask all these philosophical questions over whether or not sex is transactional. You nigga went to a meeting to hear people unrelated to the creation of the app. Like, bro, did, did you get hit or not? Like, no top after 16 minutes is crazy. I'm trying to see something, bro. Like, is this app worth downloading or not? What is your review score? Like, what's what's happening? I need to see something. Thank you for watching. I just got done editing. I also want to thank the sponsor of this video, Hetero. Oh, my God. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Imagine. You, no, but um, I was kind of poking fun at Hetero in this sure. video, and I was poking the lane fun is at wide Stephen, open but after for you, bro. him, I realized what he's doing is very serious, like he said in the video. And he has a lot of passion behind what he's doing. So uh, I want you guys to support Steven, and I want you go to go to the App Store and download Hetero and leave a good review. Leave an amazing review. But again, this is not sponsored or paid for by Hetero in any way. Thank you for watching, and um, good night, America. Thank you. All this for no top, bro. Come on, man. Hold on. Now I got to go to that. Okay. So in the future, just to let the record know, just to let the record like reflect, I'm searching hetero reviews right now just to let you know that I'm just looking at the reviews for the app. Okay. If you see this in my search history in the future, just know this is for research purposes. All right? Just let just let let it let it let it let it let it show. Let it understand. Let let it let it reflect, okay? First review. Full of scammers from Floyd W. This was from June 2022. I haven't met one real <laughs> I haven't met one real person on this app, and I've used it for at least a month. Every female profile are men, probably Indian. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> probably Indians catfishing using Instagram, Twitter, porn star model pictures. You got scammed by a porn star profile picture, bro? Are you serious? Your name is Floyd W. You at least 54, bro. You, you still getting scammed? You still getting fooled with that old trick? They will respond with services they will do for a price, then ask for payment via cash app or some other method before they meet you. Don't tell me you paid. I haven't fallen for this trick, but basically you send them money and never hear or see them again. How the fuck would you know that you haven't seen anybody then? Because it's a scam. Never send anyone money. Don't fall for the scams. You sound like you sent some money. This app also is just trash because it doesn't filter by distance. The full of profiles, thousands of miles away, and mostly fakes, with only five to ten accounts with no refresh. It's a waste of time unless you enjoy talking to scammers. I can't believe he just threw Indians out there like that. What the fuck did they do? What did they do? Just out of nowhere. Okay, here we go. Let's let's look at a better review. Seabass522. Why are these all in June? Oh, yeah, this is definitely a fake-ass app. Honestly, I'm a fan. I love how direct it is, but I live in Richmond and would be interested in, like, I don't know, 35 miles tops for traveling, especially with the current gas prices, so I don't understand why I get people in New York or Texas. I honestly or I haven't seen a single person from my state and hardly anyone from Massachusetts. Did I read that wrong? Oh, my bad. All right, chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Basically, a small step away from bro. Okay. I'll locate. Okay, okay. So, he's complaining about distance, too. These are all in 2022. Can we let it go? Like, chill. Chill. Okay, we're going to do a JCS video, and then we're going to get into the thing, and then we're going we gonna to creep off, okay? A much-needed app on the market. Oh, is it? Is it really that needed? The app delivers on its promise of creating a fun, safe environment for people to explore and connect. So excited to see this community grow and be able to enjoy all the app has to offer. How, why haven't I seen any reviews in 2023, though? Like, what the fuck? There's only there's literally only this amount of reviews, bro? Well, it is an app that I'm just finding, too. So, few active users. Seems like there are very few people in Boston. To test for active users, I messaged everyone that showed up within a reasonable distance. It was about 20 people. About three read their messages, and the rest, after a month, are all unread. Damn, you've been searching for a month and no head? 
At any given time, there's max one user online. Most profiles have no useful information, which leads me to believe some people sign up and then abandon the platform. I'm guessing things aren't going well for the app. I wouldn't assume so. Bro, they got to bring Backpage back. They do. And not that I ever even knew what Backpage was. I just loved going to the barber shop when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old. Hearing my barber and the other barbers and the other people in the shop, the other grown ass men. I just loved hearing their stories when they were using Backpage. It was such a funny fucking experience. What do you mean? Yeah, sure. I wasn't allowed to use the site. I couldn't use the site. I'm just saying their, their stories were fucking amazing. They were hilarious. The shit that these niggas was getting themselves into just for some... It's, it was insane. I went in there every single week entertained. Sometimes I didn't even get a haircut. What is Backpage? Exactly. You don't need to know. Look it up. Look it up. Niggas said, finally! <laughs> Oh my god, you sound like the sponge. Finally! I downloaded this app, not really knowing what to expect. Just I've tried some little apps and chill, chill, it's chill, chill, escorts. chill, chill. Wait, what? Bro, I'm not, bro, that's not even me. Like, chill. Um, I've tried similar apps and they never quite deliver on their promises. This one does. Great app that says what it does and does what it says, all while operating underneath core principles of enthusi enthusiastic consent and fun. I've told a few people about it and they agree. Highly recommend. Okay, so this is a paid, a paid response. Okay, cool. All right, so very disappointing. I thought that hetero would be something way different than it actually is, uh, and it isn't. Seems like a glorified, hornier version of Tinder, and if you want to be on the safer side, just keep using Tinder and hopefully message enough people with the eggplant emoji and you'll get a response from someone who's not a man if you're straight. All right. Um, Jesus, that was a... Oh, wait, here's Reddit experiences. Reddit, Reddit experiences are always real. Let's see. Oh, shit. Not safe for work content. All right. This Redditor says, hold on, hold on. This Redditor says, I downloaded Hetero entirely because it was marketed as for being random hookups. Found a nice girl. We started talking. She said she wanted to hook up and would be available whenever. Neither of us could host, so I booked us a hotel room. Horrible fucking idea. She says, just bring, oh, my fucking God. Are you seriously doing this to me right now? Yeah, like, nigga. Oh, my God. This is... Okay. Like, I'm me. She says, bring condoms and lube. I go buy some. I book a room. I checked in. I text her the room number and offer to meet her outside. She says she's on her way and then says, hey, you know I charge a... F <laughs> <laughs> that's funny and sends me a menu nothing on her profile indicated that it did hey, not come Sean, up in the combo well you're streaming while i'm working out at the gym now what hope the fuck? you have an amazing day what like what movement are you doing at this exact moment i had no idea i respectfully reclined respectfully declined and uh, to move forward with the hookup as i thought it was a hookup and not well a transaction Oh, it's all coming full circle. The video we watched, it was all a plot or a plan talking about the transactional sexual endeavors and activities. And now listen, now we here. Spent 240 on a room that I can't get back. What a sad day. Well, if you spent 240 on a room, it was already a fucking transaction, you idiot. On God, I would have said I charge a fee too and sent my own menu. Bro, if you already spent two fifty for the room, it, the transactions already occurred. This niggas don't don't get it. They don't understand. You already spent half of a PS five just to meet up with this girl. You didn't think that that was a transaction already? Am I naive or what? Yes, you're a fucking idiot. And don't mistake this as me being anti-sex work or workers. I'm not. It's just not my thing. That's fine, bro. That's fine. But you already spent some cash. You already spent some cash. And apparently you was trying to impress her crazy. Because 240 for one night at a hotel room is fucking insane. Did you get a... Did you... Like, where, where did you go? Where did you go? I know you didn't book a hotel at the West End trying to flex. You can get an easy hotel room for like 50 bucks. If this is the type of timing that you were trying to be on. 
Word of advice, 90% of those off-brand hookup dating apps are sex workers selling their content or hookers. Wow. That's disappointing. What apps do you recommend? I'm recently single and I've used, uh, haven't used dating sites since 2017 and everything is so different now. How much does she charge asking for a friend? 100 for a hookup? 200 for no limits? Nigga, you already spent 200 at the hotel. You might as well have had a good time. I don't under nigga. I don't get it. Niggas don't think with like their their proper head. They don't. Two hundred dollars for no limits, no limits. Are you crazy? I'm not saying that he should have done it, but if you already dropped two fifty for the room, what the fuck? Like, for no limits, you you might have had the time of your life. You might have had the time of your life, gang. Like, what the fuck? Are you crazy? Should have just swallowed your pride. Exactly. Should have swallowed your pride and took it because you already took a fat L with the hotel room. Two forty. He's spinning. He is spinning. Two forty on the hotel is crazy enough as it is. You getting a girl offering you no limits and you don't drop the extra two hundred. The extra two hundred was less than the room. Hello? I would have got some food and oh my god. Hey yo, this is a real nigga. Smooth 69275. Hopefully you're not a bot. That's a real nigga right there. That's a real nigga. What are you talking about? Now all of a sudden you develop morals and don't want to look at it as a transaction after you drop 250 on a hotel room. You fucking idiot. 500 and you could have had stories for generations. Oh my god. Oh my god. Happened to me too. They don't tell you that because they figure it. Uh, you've already set things and looking to get laid. You'll say screw it and pay anyways. You might as well. You might as well. Lesson: Do not check in a hotel until she shows up. Good, good fucking advice. Good fucking advice. Like, why would you get a hotel room if you never met the girl before? Are you crazy? Not only are you admitting to being a lick, but you cheap as fuck too. 200 for no fucking limits and you don't want to drop the extra hey don't say common sense because apparently it's not that common it's not that common it was an expensive lesson to learn nigga 240 is not expensive when you're trying to get your dick wet i'm sorry if i'm if i'm the horniest that i've ever been in my entire life 200 is just is so minuscule to pay if that's the type of time that i'm on 200 dollars is nothing that is nothing. If you if you really on that type of time, bro, 200 is nothing. Real women don't use the apps low effort looking to hook up, blah, 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 blah. You talking bullshit. Hetero is a scam. What worked for me is, oh, my God, he got a whole link and everything. I have learned my lesson the hard way and expensive. Never looking back to hetero. I'll stick to AFF. I don't even want to know what that is. Sean dropping 2500 on God. No, I'm just saying, if I'm on this type of timing, 200 is so small. That is a steal. That's like $200 is like getting... $200 is like getting some Jordan 4s for like 50 bucks. It's like you might as well. You see it. They're brand new, good condition, still in the box, hasn't been opened. Maybe it has been opened, but it's only been worn once. Like, who gives a fuck? What pride are you? You had enough pride to say I'm not going to pay 200 for the sex work, but you didn't have enough shame to admit or to just not admit or omit from the story that you paid 240 for a hotel that you didn't even get to use? You should have kept that shit to yourself. I would have much rather have heard you in the story of you paying 200 to be with this woman as opposed to you saying that you paid 240 for a hotel and got nothing out of it. You fucking idiot. I hate you. I absolutely hate you. What is this? Okay. There's a Reddit called Black People Twitter. Oh, Jesus Christ. I do not want to be involved. If we had gun registration, if we were able to track purchases. Okay, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that because transitioning from sex work into gun, into gun, gun rights and shit like that, we, it's, a, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Hold on. <laughs> What's the best hook? 
Yo, I gotta read some confessions. Dot this got me thinking he spent 240 for just head but could go all the way for less. That's what I'm saying. He's a fucking moron. He's so stupid. You're the dumbest nigga in human history to drop 240 for a hotel room that you don't get to use but not an additional 200 for for no limits. She is offering you up label level pussy. She's offering you label level pussy and you said, no, I'll take my empty hotel room. If we are, they have a technology.